Hello everyone, today our topic is anatomy of the clavicle. Clavicle is also known as the collarbone and it has several unique features and we have to learn what are those unique features. First one, it is the only long bone that placed horizontally in our body uh, because all the other long bones are placed vertically in our body. It has a no medullary cavity. It is the first bone to ossify in our body because its ossification starts at 5th to 6th week of intrauterine life and it is the most commonly fractured long bone in our body and it is the only long bone which has membranous ossification. Those are the unique features of clavicle. Let's see general features of the clavicle. As you can see in this diagram, uh, clavicle is a shaped bone. It has a shaft and two ends as lateral end and medial end. As you can see in this picture, medial end of the clavicle articulate with the manubrium of the sternum forming sternoclavicular joint. Lateral end of the clavicle articulate with the acromion process of the scapula forming acromioclavicular joint. When we look at the shaft, this is the lateral one-third and this is the medial two-third. In lateral one-third, anterior it is concave. In medial two-third, anterior it is convex. Uh, this medial end is a little bit larger and quadrangular in shape and lateral end is uh, flatten from above to downward. In this picture you can see this is the superior view and this is the inferior view. In the superior surface it is a smooth. It is the smooth surface. But inferior surface is little bit roughened. There is a groove. This is the groove and it is called as subclavian groove. This subclavian groove gives attachment to subclavius muscle. As you can see in this picture, clavicle gives attachment to several muscles and ligaments. Um, this is the medial end and this is the lateral end. There are uh, muscles such as uh, trapezius muscle, sternocleidomastoid muscle, pectoralis major muscle and deltoid muscle. Those four muscles are attached to the clavicle and uh, there are ligaments. This is the costoclavicular ligament. Uh, this is the uh, trapezoid and uh, conoid parts of the coracoclavicular ligament. And uh, this is the subclavius muscle that I uh, told previously uh, and in the diagram. Next thing about the clavicle you have to know is uh, the fractures of the clavicle. In this diagram uh, you can see the fract fracture of a clavicle. Uh, this fracture has occurred uh, through the weakest point of the clavicle. Weakest point of the clavicle is the junction between medial two-third and the lateral one-third of the shaft. Um, when this uh, fracture of the clavicle occur, uh, this uh, upper limb uh, goes down. Actually, uh, the patient's present with supporting his sagging upper limb with the, his opposite hand because of the uh, medial fragment of the uh, shift, uh, shaft, medial fragment of the shaft shifted upward by the contraction of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This fragment shifted upwards and the lateral fragment drawn downwards by the weight of the upper limb and pulled medially. Uh, this side pulled medially by the contraction of the pectoralis major muscle but the damages to the vessels by this uh, clavicular fracture is extremely rare. So uh, that's all about the clavicle. Hope you gain some knowledge about the clavicle and its clinical correlation. Uh, thank you for watching.